Right. All right. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, August 29th. My name is Amber Davis, and it is time to wake up and win. We do these uh, Zoom meetings every day, uh, Monday through Friday. You have the opportunity to hop on and get ideas um, on how to grow your Thrive business, work with other like-minded people, and um, just have a community of people that we know that no matter where we are, we um, are all still doing the exact same things each and every day. Um, it's the consistency and the small things um, that, that uh, over time become big things. So um, just want to say good morning. Thank you guys for joining. And um, I know it is the last Tuesday of the month. So we're gonna be going over just end of the month grind, end of the month checklist, um, all, all the things. So um, if you want to, you can take a second and text somebody, put it in a messenger group, invite somebody that you know needs to be here and um, we will get kicked off. So um, I'm just gonna open this up in a word of prayer. And then we will um, get on with our morning and keep going. So, Father God, we just thank you so much for today. I thank you for the end of August and just um, what a month it has been and all the things that it has brought. And I know for some, they're probably um, looking forward to maybe, you know, closing this month and just starting a new one. And others are um, savoring these last few days. So, Whoever, wherever each and every person is, Lord, I just pray that you'd be with them and meet with them, go before us in our conversations that we will be starting today, um, the work that we're about to do, let it not be in vain, but that it would be productive and that it would have your blessing upon it. And I pray that you bless every single person on this Zoom and just be with us um, for the next hour and throughout the day and throughout our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, all right. Well. We like to start each morning um, with, you know, things that we are, no matter where you are, no matter what your morning has been like up until now, um, it can absolutely change. It can absolutely change. It can change for the better. It could change. It could take a left turn and, and start to go downhill. Um, there's lots of different things that happen to us all within um, a moment's notice. And so it's so important that we are grounded in the things that we know that we can control. And one of the things that we can control is our attitude and something we like to say around here, gratitude determines the attitude. And so we always like to just take these first few minutes of our morning just to really reflect on the things that no matter, no matter what your day has been to up to this point, um, naming stuff that naming at least five things, writing it down, five things that we are grateful for, and then sharing them out loud. There's something about uh, actually acknowledging the things that we are grateful for. So whether you write it down or you share out loud, um, we're just going to take these next couple of minutes. I'm actually going to be quiet for two minutes so everyone can actually write down five things that they're grateful for so that if your day were to get sidetracked, you know, later on today, you're going to remember this moment and think, you know what? I need to stop. I need to remember these are the things that I'm grateful for in my life. Um, and then if you feel comfortable uh, sharing them out loud, we'll have an opportunity for that. So just for the next two minutes, I want you to be quiet and um, write down things that you're grateful for.
Okay, one more minute. Actually, y'all, I typed it out. I typed it out on my notes section. Um, and with and I have a notes tab that says um grateful. So the things that I'm grateful for. And so I put the date um 829 so that um I can add to this and then any moments that I feel not like I'm feeling great, um, I can go back to this notes tab and reread the things that um, I'm grateful for, just a good um, reminder. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read these in the chat group and then um, let's see, and then we'll get going. Uh, Brandy says, grateful for this amazing team, for all my new thrivers feeling fabulous, school starting soon. She is grateful for Misty Jackson and of course, Thrive. Laura says, today is the first day of school for my kids, junior and freshman. Um, and I will be, is that preschool? P through K, homeschooling my three-year-old. Yes, that's preschool. Uh, homeschooling my three-year-old. My son's football team won their first game of the season last night. That is awesome. Um, things that I'm grateful for. I am very grateful just, um, you know, as it is the end of the month, I'm very grateful just for this business. Um, it's just opened my, it has opened my eyes just over the last, you know, nine and a half, almost 10 years um, to just so many possibilities. Um, I'm super grateful for um, those of you guys that shared um, your, your teacher message, um, that teacher post. And I have three new teacher samplers, very excited for them. And then um, I am a huge, if you follow me on social media, if you're connected to me on social media at all, um, you know that I love college football. It is my, I love the fall. Um, I am from a high school that we went to state um, when I was in the eighth grade. It's a big deal here. Friday Night Lights, like um, Katie is a big, big high school football. And so that translated into when I went to AM. And so I just, I love fall. I love football. Um, I love creating game day menus each and every week. Um, and uh, so I'm just, I'm very excited. That is officially kicking off. AM's official season will kick off on Saturday. Uh, grateful for payday. Um, I never want to get used to that. And, um, and it, it is such a, I need to be, I sometimes need to, you know, remind myself, hey, that is not something to ever take for granted or, um, you know, get lax in. So very thankful for payday. And then um, grateful for just the decision I made 10 years ago, nine and a half years ago when my daughter was so young um, and the business that we've built. Um, because I, for some reason, had the foresight of um, time freedom and just what that means. And yesterday I had to, um, yesterday I had to go pick her up from school early. She has been complaining of a sore throat. Um, she's back at school today, immune gummies and some recharge at night. She's feeling fine. Um, but you know, I was thinking about, so she was running like a 99.6 fever and she had been in the nurse a couple of times. And so finally they called me around two and was like, she doesn't think she can finish the day. And I was reminded in that, like, as I'm, I'm, they might still be here. I was like annoyed, not like super annoyed, but just like really 99.6. Like she has an hour left of school. Like, are you kidding? But it just took me back to the memories of what it was like for me when I was growing up and you had to be, both my parents worked, um, you know, at an office, it wasn't really this whole stay at home thing and work from home thing uh, back then. Um, and it was like, you better be, really be sick. Like if you were calling mom or dad at work and like, they're going to leave work to come get you, like that was such a huge stressor. Um, in my life growing up. And I remember that tension and that stress of if any of us were sick, my parents having that conversation of, can you call in? I'm going to, you know, can you stay home? Who can stay home? And um, I am reminded very like in those moments of going when my kids are not feeling well and they need to stay home, that moment of just how easy it is for me to go 
do that. It's not stressful. Bill and I don't have to have a conversation on, well, I have this going on, I have that going on. Um, I'm just so thankful for time freedom. So um, those moments that I'm just so reminded and I'm very grateful for them. So uh, Carol, we will be definitely praying for your son in the name of Jesus. Um, one of my favorite worship songs talks about speaking the name of Jesus over depression, addiction. Um, I speak Jesus over healing. I speak Jesus over my marriage. I speak Jesus over my business. And it talks about speaking the name of Jesus over the things in our life that we need to speak Jesus over. And I'm speaking Jesus over over that situation for your son. We're going to speak Jesus. He, um, she says, grateful my son went to a place to stay for a year and get the help he needs for drug use. Please pray for me and him. And in Jesus' name, um, he is bigger. Jesus is bigger than addiction. Um, Jesus is the restorer of health and home and families. And we're just going to speak Jesus over that Carol into your life and into your son's life. So um, I can only imagine, she says it has not been easy the last few days and that there will probably be harder days to come, even though that probably sounds uh, impossible, but on the other side of a bad day comes the good day and you never get to see the good day without going through the bad day. And so y'all need to remember that, that you don't get to, you don't get to the good days without going through the bad days. And in Jesus name, you are going to get there. So um, yes, thankful for a white label. I, I agree. My husband would agree with you. He found a pack yesterday and he was like, thank you, Lord Jesus, that this is here. So, um, and like Brandy says, we are all here for you. So um, anybody else, anybody want to go off mute, off video and share just a couple more minutes of just what's going on in your life, how we can be praying for you, things that you're grateful for this morning. Um, and we will, we will get started on the work here in just a minute or two. All right. Like always, you can always put um, you can always put things in the chat that you um, have questions about or things that you want to um, share that maybe you don't want to go off video. I need to grab my water. I heard it. <laughs> so. Um, all right. Well, like I said, it is the end of the month. And so we have all day today all day tomorrow and all day um, Thursday to be um, finishing the month strong. So um, what was I, it's tomorrow? Okay. Um, for those of you that don't know, so let's do a little um, business. Let's, let's do some business catch up. I always like to do that. So we can talk about what is happening, what is going on and how we can really focus on um, the next few minutes of, um, of how we're gonna work. So in case you missed it yesterday, um, the company came out with an announcement. Hold on for me one second, I'm sorry. We've had like major bus issues in the morning. Like our kids were 20 minutes late to school yesterday. Uh, we live like two minutes from the school, but um, maybe less than that. Uh, but if, if like we take them, you know, after a certain time, like if they're late because we dropped them off, like they're tardy. But if they're late because, um, you know, the bus gets them there late, then they're not. And so like, you have to kind of let them just be late because, you know, we want, don't want them to be tardy. Um, and so I was trying to see if the bus had actually come on time today. So sorry about that. Okay. So in case you missed it, um, and this is under company news. So if you ever see something that is floating around social media um, that you did not get the email for, you did not get the text message for, um, I always, always, always like to go to my resources because I do not get the emails. I have not opted out of the emails. I just do not get them. Um, so I always like to go to the email section. And so yesterday I saw a graphic for 20% off um, orders with a promo code. And so of course I did not get the email. Um, 
and it was by email. It was by invite only. However, um, it showed up under this announcement was under company news um, yesterday. And so if you have not seen that yet, um, it is under company news, what I'm about to read you, and you can actually get access to the flyer and what it is. So have y'all heard, we just launched an end of the summer finale promo to any customer or promoter that has not ordered their Thrive this month, but has ordered before. So, um, so basic, so how we can do that is we can go to, um, you go to your customer, you go to your customer list, my customers, my team, my customers, and you can filter by last order. And so anybody that has ordered prior to um, August 1st of this month that has not ordered yet um, should have received, had they not opted out of receiving communications, they have received a special 20% off offer in their inbox to get restocked this week through Thursday. Plus, add free shipping when the orders reach $200 or more. Um, and then you can click on that. And then this is what the graphic is. So um, the promo code is SUNNY20. And um, so just wanted to let y'all know that that is sitting in an email for your any of your customers or promoters that have ordered prior, you know, so they've had to place an order at some point, um, but they just haven't ordered in the month of August. So this is a great place during our follow-ups and our, you know, as we're working today, um, you can go to that list and start working off that list and encouraging people to place an order and they will get 20% off. Um, credits do not apply. I'm just reading the fine print for y'all, making sure I didn't miss anything. Um, offer strictly for qualifying customers and promoters, Sunny 20. Uh, the promotion does not apply to sample mail credits, Thrive Nourish, or promoter packs. Um, and they cannot be combined with any other promotion or promotional codes. The use of Thrive credits are not permitted with this offer. Discount is applied to subtotal, yada, yada, yada. Due to the weight of Thrive, the water and the UI both are excluded from the free shipping portion of this promo. Um, so they will, they will, you get still have to pay for shipping there, that $7. Any questions there? So that is under company news. Um, and so we've got that going for us. We've got this end of the month. Um, you'll probably have some auto ships maybe that were declined. Uh, this month will run tomorrow. So lots, lots happening over these next three days to really end the month strong. So at the beginning of this month, we set some goals for August. If you wrote those down, if you put them in your notes, this is a great time to revisit them. Make sure you are on track to hit them. So let us start with our reach outs. Um, this is our you know, moment where we get to leave a thoughtful, mindful comment, ask a question in their stories like or love some things, but really just show up, show up for your friends, answer that text message that maybe you got yesterday that you didn't have time to answer, um, set that lunch appointment, you know, like, hey, you've been thinking about somebody, you want to get together with them. Um, this is the time to just reach out to them, say hello to them, uh, be a friend. So um, our goal is five for the next 10 minutes. I'm going to be quiet. Um, if you have any questions so far, drop them in the chat. Um, but our goal is five mindful reach outs of just being a friend, showing up for a friend, um, being interested in other people's lives. You can do that on social media. You can do that if you're doing it on Instagram and maybe you don't know the person as well. You know, this is the time to go through their feed, check out their story and um, be interested in their life and show up and thank them for the content that they are bringing and the value they are bringing to your life.
Okay. All right. Y'all should hopefully be feeling pretty good. Now we're going to move in to follow ups. So, um, this is our time to follow up with our samplers. Um, again, now we can follow up with people who haven't ordered this month. Um, I will drop in the chat what I have sent out to um, what I'm going to be sending out. And I also sent this message to um, you know, all of my promoters, my active promoters, my leaders. Um, if you don't use the app, and there probably is a better app than this, because um, this one is actually very finicky. Um, but I use the hit em up app and I um, have different groups. So like I have a customer group, I have uh, pro my 12K leader group, I have promoters that are direct to me, I have um, all kinds of stuff. So I, and so it's so easy, like you can select all and they all get the same message. So um, a message I <laughs> just sent out to all of my 12K and up leaders. I was like, hey, I just wanted to make sure you guys saw this. Um, and then kind of shared what, how I'm using it, which is what I told y'all, like going to my team, my customers filtering by last order, and then a message that I'm sharing with them. So, um, I will drop that in the, I will drop that in the chat, the message that I sent, um, as an idea of what you could be sending to your customers, what you can be sending to your maybe inactive promoters, um, and different things like that. But this is a great time to follow up with anybody that hasn't placed an order yet this month. Um, you obviously have this 20% off code that you can share with them. Um, if you have any samplers, if you have anybody that has expressed interest with you to thrive for free this month, um, this is a great time to talk to them and let them know, um, hey, we've got three days left of the end of the month. Um, you know, or did you give that sample to your coworker? You know, follow up on those conversations that maybe you had um, in regards to getting that order placed by the end of the month. So our goal is for, I'm gonna drop, um, like I said, I'm gonna drop in the chat um, some messages that you can use with this Sunny 20 promo. Um, but if anybody has any questions about being stuck or a conversation on like, what would you say? How would you say this? Where should I go? Uh, please use this time to ask those questions and um, so we can move you forward.
Okay. And y'all can help me with the, this. Um, Cause I always like to try to answer, like leave like with a question um, so that maybe they'll answer me and they won't just ghost me. So I put this in the chat for you guys. Um, Jennifer, I like to use people's names that I see. So I use Jennifer. Jennifer, I know she haven't placed your Thrive order yet this month and wanted to share a 20% off promo code with you. Today through Thursday, use Sunny20 and you get 20% off any order. Free shipping on orders of $200 or more. I know with this time of year, I am stocking up on the immune gummies for me and the kiddos. I love using discounts to try some of the products outside of the Thrive experience. Can I help you place an order? Or you could say, you know, um, let, do you have it? Do you know, do you have any questions for me? Um, things like that. And then, uh, and then there, like, so, and you can also use that for, um, if you have a promoter, if you have a promoter that's active um, or in like, hasn't placed an order yet and has volume underneath them, you could also say, Hey, um, I noticed you hadn't placed an order uh, yet this month. I don't want you to miss out on your paycheck. You actually have a 20% off code that I can give you. We can see if it works. Um, but these reach outs and these follow ups and letting people know that this is available to them, you just never know who's going to place an order. So um, those are some ideas for you guys in the chat for you. So our goal is at least four. Um, I'm going to give you all just a couple more minutes to. Um, kind of finish that up. Asking questions if you have them. Um,
All right, so let's move on to um, our social media posts. So if you have not already done your social media post for the day, um, this is a great time to uh, make a plan. You know, what are you going to focus on? Jennifer, if you're on and you already know what national day it is, you could drop that in for us. I know I feel like I need to, um, between getting up and getting kids out the door, making lunches and things, I don't know our national day yet. I have not had a chance to look that up. Um, but if you know that, you can drop that in the chat. So this is um, just where we're going to take a few minutes to um, just plan what our social media path for the day is going to be. Um, obviously, if you have a huge customer list or promoter team, you may be spending a lot of your time focusing on getting that 20% out promo code, especially if you are close to hitting you know, a goal for the month. Um, but so this is a great time going over to the Lavelle fan page, Lavelle Instagram page and sharing. Um, they've already created so much content for you um, that I love just repurposing that. So, um, but this is a good time to get to get your social media plan together. If you haven't made your social media post yet for the day, go ahead and do that, or at least map out what you're going to do. Maybe you've seen a reel that you like, that you're like, okay, I'm, I need to, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make that today or whatever it is. So, um, I'm going to go quiet just for a couple of minutes and, um, that way you can, uh, go ahead and put a social media plan together, um, or go over to the little fan page, whatever you so choose to do and go ahead and knock that out. Um, now, lemon juice day. Who used to rate? Who used to put lemon juice in their hair? Which Jennifer and Susan, I feel like y'all are already, you are usually ahead of us on putting in a support ticket or talking to a higher up. Um, I had somebody text me back and ask me, curious if this applies to those who didn't just order in August, but haven't ordered in quite a while for this promo code. Um, the fine print says, has placed an order before. It doesn't say um, you know, ordered in July. It just says that they haven't ordered yet in August. Um, so if anybody has clarity on that um, and wants to share that they know. Um... Hey, I wanted to say I had a lady that did order last month and she qualified for this month. Right, like, so if they placed an order in July, but they haven't placed an order yet in August, that's who it's for. But I'm curious if like, they haven't placed an order since June. Um, um, like if they had placed an order in June, didn't place an order in July, are they eligible for it in August? Or like May, you know, they haven't ordered since May. They didn't order June. They didn't order July. Obviously, they haven't ordered in August. Um, can they use the code? So um, if anybody has run across that yet or has put in a ticket to support um, and knows the answer before I do, uh, I was just thought I'd ask really quickly. Okay. Let us move on to two new leads. So, um, you know, as always, um, really like to, oh, and I'll point out that today, not only is it lemon juice day, it's also chop suey day. I don't really know what that means. Are you supposed to go eat chop suey? Um, I might have to Google exactly what is 
chop suey. Does it have the crunchy things on top? Does, is that what makes it chop suey? I don't know. Um, but so let us connect with um, two new leads. So um, as y'all know, I'm a huge fan of, um, you know, going into groups and connecting with people that you already have something in common with. I feel like when you have something in common with somebody, you um, it's a lot easier to like get the conversation going, connect with them, start talking to them. Um, so if, uh, so that's always a great place, you know, going into your favorite groups and um, connecting with people in that way. And also uh, let like leaving an interesting comment. Like if somebody feels like they're bringing value to a group and they've given some information that you felt was helpful, um, you know, sending them a DM and letting them know, hey, I really appreciate this advice. I did this. Um, you know, I tried this, I did this recipe, I did whatever, um, and letting them know that um, you really appreciate, you know, them sharing that information with you and how it changed your life and how it impacted you. Um, letting people know that their content matters. Um, I feel like it comes full circle. So then somebody's going to let you know that your content matters. So um, if you, or this is a good time to, for you to go into a group. And I want you to bring some kind of content, some ask some kind of question um, in a group that you're in. And then the people that comment, those are your leads. Those are your new friends. Um, so that's a great way to send somebody a friend request and let them know like, um, hey, I, I wanted to connect with you a little bit more on, on that answer. Um, and I wanted to see what you thought about this. And it's a great way to start a conversation. So I'm gonna be quiet for, a few minutes as I'm going to let you guys think about where you want to go for your leads. Um, also, like if you hashtag, if you search a hashtag and somebody comes up with that, I like to let them know, hey, I am looking for information on this or I had a question about this. I was searching this hashtag and um, and um, I'm, I, I noticed that you had put this in one of your posts. I wanted to, I hope this isn't weird. I, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about it or um, something like that. So one thing that I did that I'm now connected to kind of some new strangers on social media is um, I, uh, I had a, um, I had a surprise party for my sister last week um, and it was hibachi. I feel like I don't, I'm not sure if I shared this story with you guys or not, but this is just like another way that you can connect with people um, is I, and so I found a hibachi company on Facebook um, and it, it looked kind of sus to me. Like it didn't, they didn't have a website. Like they only had a Facebook page. And so I was like, is this a scam? Is this real? Um, so I went to their Facebook page and, um, looked at the reviews and, um, and they, they had like 12, 14 reviews and I messaged some of the people on, um, that had left a review and I sent them a message and a friend request and just said, Hey, um, I saw your review about this hibachi chef, um, I'm looking to do the same thing in my backyard. And I feel like I just want to reach out and make sure that it's not a scam, that this is like a legit, you know, I wanted to hear about your experience, like personally. And um, so I messaged a few people that way to see what they thought, give me feedback. And I ended up, you know, just connecting with um, this one lady, she's in my area. Um, and so now we're friends, you know, we're friends on Facebook and, um, you know, my stuff showing up in her feed, her stuff is showing up in my feed. And this is like how we've, um, okay, thank you, Zoom user. I'm gonna read that in just a second. So, um, uh, so anyway, I wanted to let y'all know that that's like an easy way to also come up with a new lead is, um, you know, ch a service that you're checking out, something that's in your area, go check out the Facebook page, see who the reviewers are, you know, message people and just say, Hey, I saw this. I know that's more of like a cold call, but you're not talking about thrive. Like you legit are looking for information 
based on like, you're almost doing like a reference check on things that you're interested in things. And it, it's something you have in common. So, um, so yes. So back to the promo, back to the promo, um, and zoom user, I don't know your name. So you just, it's me, Billy zoom Joe, sorry. Who is <laughs> Billy it? Joe. Yeah. It's Billy Joe. I just, uh, Billy I don't know Joe. Why, okay. I will remember that off. forever now. Yeah. Okay, so Billy Joe said that in regards to the 20% off, I did a mock order under a customer that did not order since June and did qualify. So, um, and Billy Joe, th what's really great about that is who, who knows if that person actually got the email or not? Because I know so many people like myself, like I haven't opted out of communication from uh, Lavelle, but I don't get the emails. And so it's good to know that that promo code worked. Um, oh, Carol says I did one too for a customer for June, but hers did not work. Well, Carol, I would put in a ticket to support because if they are trying, if if like somebody is trying to place an order that hasn't placed an order yet in August, like they need to they need to let that go through. Also, another thing that um, is also would like if you have extra credits. You can then, if they're like, that promo code didn't work, they give you that feedback. Hey, what were you trying to order? What was it that you wanted to order? And then if, you know, they're just placing an order for, you know, a few items and it's, you know, $120 and you have $24 in product credit, you can just let them know, hey, I can, I'll just give you that 20% off via credits. And if you have that still in your, um, you know, in your, your credit account, your bank account, your Lavelle bank. Um, you could also have a conversation that way with somebody that gets back to you. So I'm going to be quiet, let y'all kind of come up with some new ways to get two new leads. Amber, quick question for you. Yes. With your email not working, mine was doing that for a while and Lavelle let me do another email with that account. So I get double emails now, one in one goes to my AOL, one goes to my Gmail. Have you tried that with them? Yes, I have a Yahoo account and a Gmail account that is attached to my um, my account and neither one of them get the emails. What is really wild to me is that I get the emails of like, congratulations, you've referred a new customer. Like I get those. Um, I get, you know, like our lifestyle getaway emails. I get those. Um, I just do not get promotional emails. I, that is so I, weird. I get some, I get some notifications and both accounts get those. My Yahoo and my Gmail both get the congratulations, Amber. You've referred a new customer, signed up a new promoter. Those are all there. Promotional emails. I do not get. So I get weird. the text message, but I do not get them as emails. It's very strange. Carol, where do you check to see if they opted out of receiving emails? Or did you, uh, you're like, you check with them or is that something you can actually see in the back office? Um, I can't see it in my back office, but... Okay. I did, you know, I did do, uh, tried to place the order for her and it didn't go through, but then I read the promo where it said if they opted out, they would not be eligible from what I read on the graphic. So uh, I'm not sure what's going on because this lady, she orders sporadically. She doesn't order every month. So I was trying right. to get her. So one thing you can check go to that because since you have the password like you have that um information go to her settings and see if i feel like there's a little box that says like receive lavelle uh emails in your like under the profile settings see if that is there and see if you can click that and opt back in for it um and see what happens. So I'm always curious if like somebody were to opt in during this period, if they would then be able to receive the um, the discount. Like if they contacted support and said, hey, you know, I, I never opted out of receiving emails 
I understand there's a promo happening right now. I'd like to be eligible for it. Is there anything that can be done to uh, so that I can get it, so that I can receive it? So. All right. Any other questions? Any other thoughts? Another thing that I'm grateful for, my cleaning ladies here. I can hear her upstairs. Like it's like the best day. I love that. Um did somebody unmute? Did you have a question? Thought? We're good. Okay. All right, well, you guys know what to do. Hopefully this has jump-started your day in a positive direction, as well as your business. Finish the month strong, set some uh, last minute, you know, here's what I wanna accomplish in the next three days, um, goals. And uh, there will probably be a, I'm sure that y'all will talk about this later on this week, um, but don't forget there will probably be some kind of Labor Day, something happening this weekend too. So um, love you all. Be blessed. Have a great day. And I will talk to you guys later.